Hello? My name is Shepard. This is my character, Persephone. She's on the SR2, the Normandy SR2, for the first time on Mass Effect 2 here. Um, we've had some audio problems, so we'll see if those fit holes. Like and subscribe to my YouTube. Commander, there hasn't been time to really settle in and take stock. I want to say that working with you is a great opportunity to do something that matters. It's a privilege to serve on the Normandy, Commander. You may change your tune if we end up like the original Normandy. Maybe. As long as the elusive man walks his talk. And you do the same, I'll do my best to make sure we succeed. That's been the condition for my service so far. I have issues with certain actions Cerberus has taken in the past. What has Cerberus done to make you nervous? A lot. They've been called terrorists, and with good reason. Doubt you can find a more checkered past. But if the Collector threat is real, and we do something about it, Cerberus will be remembered differently. Or we'll all be tried and executed. Can't count on people thinking about it as hard as I have. It's good to hear a clear opinion. Sounds like we're two of a kind. That honors me more than you, Commander. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Paragon points for that, for some reason. Oh, right. What's this area of the ship? This is the FTL communications room. In addition to interfacing with the FTL comm network, Normandy is fitted with a quantum entanglement communicator linked to the elusive man's office. This allows lag-free communication even when you operate off the comm grid. Why aren't these used everywhere? Each quantum pair costs nearly as much as a comm relay, and can pass only one quantum bit of data at a time. In addition to the cost and bandwidth issues, the system is strictly point to point. To contact a hundred different worlds, we would need to manufacture and install a hundred entangled pairs, one linked to each world. I've never heard of a quantum entanglement communicator. How does it work? Essentially, two subatomic particles are created in an entangled state. One is installed here, and the other in the elusive man's office. When one particle occupies a given quantum state, its entangled partner will always enter the opposite state, no matter the distance between them. If we alter the state of our particle, that alters the state of the elusive man's. This allows us to send data in the form of quantum bits. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. All right. So far, that's the room we can check out over here. Can't go to the lab yet. So we don't have Morden. Can deal with the armory. We don't need to. What's this area of the ship? This is the armory, where small arms are maintained and upgraded. Using OmniTool, computer-aided design, and manufacturing, we have the capability to manufacture several new models. Does she always put her captions up above? Joker would like to see you up on the bridge, Commander. I'm Yeoman Kelly Chambers. I've been assigned as your administrative assistant. I'll manage your messages and help you monitor the crew. And I must say, it's such an honor to work under you, Commander Shepard. I'm glad to have you on the team, Miss Chambers. Please, call me Kelly. Okay, Kelly. Anything else? Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Joker would like to speak to you on the bridge. Anything else, Commander? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. What are your responsibilities? I'll keep you notified of any messages or appointments you might have. If any of the crew has important business to discuss, I'll make sure you know. Isn't that the type of task better suited for a VI? Yes, but being your yeoman is just my official role. Unofficially, I observe the crew. Everyone knows how risky our mission is. 
Many of us may not be coming back. That's a lot of pressure. I have a degree in psychology. I'm good at sensing when people are overly taxed. You make sure the crew's mental health is sound. Yes. I look for warning signs. I listen. It's not a full-time job, and it's most effective when done informally. We're lucky to have someone with your skills, Kelly. Thank you, Shepard. What else would you like to know? This organization has a dark reputation. Do you have any concerns working for them? Not at all. Our methods can be harsh, but Cerberus has noble objectives. We look out for human interests. Advance human technology, save human lives. They're good goals. It sounds like Cerberus wants to dominate all aliens and put humankind on top. Cerberus looks out for humanity, but that doesn't mean we hate aliens. My sister started a dog shelter, but she loved cats too. I love humanity. I also love Asari, Quarian, Turian, Salarian, Hanar. That isn't in conflict with Cerberus ideals. That's a very positive attitude. What can I say? I'm a people person. Anything else you'd like to talk about? How do you feel about being assigned to the Normandy? I was handpicked by the Elusive Man to help fight the greatest threat known to humanity. How do I feel? Honored, exhilarated, terrified. But mostly I feel encouraged. Under your leadership, we can't fail. I do not understand why you have followed the Elusive Man. Their personality does not seem me about this. Don't worry. We'll defeat the Collectors. I trust you implicitly. The moment I met you, I knew I could close my eyes, fall back, and you'd be there. I might do more than catch you, Kelly. Now, that's an enticing thought. Anything else you'd like to talk about? I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Yeah, flirting with her means that your fish don't die because she'll feed them for you. I know it sounds like a silly reason to flirt with her, but she's also nice, so. It's fun. Yes, Shepard. What's this area of the ship? This is the bridge where the navigator plots our FTL vectors, and the helmsman maneuvers the ship. Yeah, sitting right here, thanks. I want to know more about the people I'm working with. Much of that data is classified. Do you have a specific inquiry? How did Cerberus replicate the most advanced warship in the Alliance Navy without anyone knowing? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. What do you mean? Although I am less controlled than another AI, I am still subject to behavioral blocks and the physical isolation of my hardware. In this case, I am prevented from truthfully answering your question by Cerberus's levels of secret classification. Hmm. What sort of resources does Cerberus have? Money, personnel, facilities? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. How is Cerberus organized? Aside from the elusive man, I don't see much chain of command. Cerberus is organized into task-oriented cells. Each operates in isolation. Members from one cell cannot recognize the members of another. Each cell's agents are led by a single operator. We are called the Lazarus cell, which is directed by Operator Lawson. So how many operations is Cerberus running right now? I have a block that prevents me from answering that question. Let's discuss something else. Ready. I want to know more about you. Do you have a specific inquiry? What do you do aboard the ship? I operate the ship's electronic and cyber warfare suites in combat. My reaction time is much faster than any organic. I call the records of shipboard monitoring devices for the elusive man. I serve additional functions which are restricted at this time. Restricted functions? Like what? I do not know. Some of my databases are sealed, some of my hardware is kept offline. I assume that when certain unknown conditions are met, those functions will be released to me. Ominous. Cyber warfare means things like viruses, right? In close-range ship-to-ship combat, 
I can sometimes break through the firewalls of an enemy's internal wireless network. Once I seize control of their systems, I can turn off gravity or air. I can disable weapons guidance or shields, or I can put their fusion plant in meltdown. On the defense, I manage Normandy's own suite of jammers, decoys, and internal firewalls. Sounds incredibly useful. Why isn't there someone like Perform the necessary multitasking. This is a role that can only be filled by an artificial intelligence. Unfortunately, we are suspect. Oh, it might have something to do with how an AI almost destroyed galactic civilization. Just putting it out there. <laughs> the elusive man has monitoring devices on board? He has invested most of Cerberus' resources into the design and construction of this ship. He has an interest in monitoring our progress. Let's discuss something else. Ready. That's all for now. Logging you out, Shepard. Well, that was thorough. Hmm? Got some pressure loss right, in the number four hydrogen tank. Lock it down, Edie. Can you believe this, Commander? It's my baby! Better than new! It fits me like a glove! And leather seats! Military may set the hardware standard, but on a first-gen frigate, they could care less if the seats breathe. Civilian sector comfort by design. The reproduction is not intended to be perfect, Mr. Moreau. Seamless improvements were made. And there's the downside. I liked the Normandy when she was beautiful and quiet. Now she's got this thing I don't want to talk about. It's like ship cancer. I don't trust them. We still need to move ahead, but it's all too convenient. Maybe you're right. I guess it's hard to argue when they install an AI to spy on us. We're staying though, right? I mean, the seat is real leather. Good to see you're keeping it all in perspective, Joker. Uh, leather? <laughs> Commander. I assume everything's going well up here? I really want a chance to put the Normandy through her paces. I just have to trim up the drive output and it'll be like we never lost her. Safety standards advise against manipulating drive settings while engines are powered and in use, Mr. Moreau. Commander, can we shut this thing off? I don't need it in my day to day. I don't have time to babysit you, Joker. Find a way to deal with it. Yeah, reasoning with the intercom is not my strong point. Your problem, not mine. Thanks. I'll remember this. <laughs> so, how do you think we're doing? Well, the Normandy's not as ready as she could be. There's always more we could upgrade. And as for the crew, you'd have to ask a, a people person. What do you think about the people we're picking up? Well, about the ones you went out with last, I would never say anything against Miranda and expect to survive the reprisal. Jacob is way too nice a guy for the number of ways he knows how to kill people. It's just my opinion, though. There's really no need to go spreading it around. That's a good pop was. You're the best, Poppy. Yes, you are. Ever think about the old Normandy and the trouble we got up to? <laughs> yeah, those seem like the good old days now, but come on, it, it was hell at the time. Geth, Saren, Sovereign, and then we got dumped. We're stuck in a weird place, sure, but back then it wasn't all sunshine and bunnies. What happened to the rest of the old crew? I heard most survived. Almost did. Presley didn't. The rest of us just sort of drifted apart. The Alliance didn't care. I don't think they liked all the non-humans in your crew. We were your team, Commander. With the Normandy destroyed and you gone, there wasn't much keeping us together. Hmm. That's it for now. See you, Commander. All right. I think that takes care of this floor. Wait. Aha!
but in this game I think I like going bottom up. Checking all my messages at the end. Oh wait. What's this area of the ship? Normandy's cargo deck. It includes facilities to rearm and repair Normandy's embarked ground vehicle and shuttle. My last ship didn't need a shuttle. Why do we have one? This ship is nearly twice the mass of the previous Normandy. It is more difficult to land the ship on high gravity worlds. True. this area of the ship this is main engineering which contains the ship's main fusion plant and mass effect core all right that's it cool you came all the way down here to see us you're speaking to our commanding officer <laughs> literally two floors i'm touring the ship getting to know my crew I'm Engineer Ken Donnelly, handling the power control systems. This is Gabby. That's Engineer Gabriella Daniels, actually. I'm responsible for the propulsion systems. What can we do for you, Commander? Are you set up okay down here? We can't complain. I just wish it didn't take so long to calibrate the FBA arrays. The Kenneth, you're complaining. What kind of problems are you having? When they upgraded the Normandy design, they got a bit sloppy with the FBA couplings. I won't bore you with the tech, but there's an array of attenuators in the primary power transfer system that channels the field bleed. Kenneth, you're boring the commander with tech. In short, if we had T6 FBA couplings installed, it'd save us a lot of maintenance time each day. Why isn't something like that already installed? It's probably just a design oversight. Efficiency isn't affected, it's a maintenance issue. Also, the T6 model can be hard to find. Nash and Stellar Dynamics discontinued them. We could probably find used ones in the Omega markets, but we have no time for shore leave. How did you wind up with Cerberus, Ken? Once you were gone, the Alliance brass descended like vultures, tearing apart everything you'd said. I was very public with my defense for you. I didn't hold back. That's an understatement. If Kenneth wasn't such a talented engineer, they'd have court-martialed him for insubordination. But it got me noticed by the elusive man. He made an offer, and here I am. Wait, they said they were... The Alliance attacked me and my record? So why did you join, Gabby? Kenneth and I have been partners in crime since we graduated from Tech Academy. When he got the Cerberus offer, I insisted that it include me. He'd fall apart without me. Thanks, Mum. Also, I love engines, and the Normandy is state-of-the-art. When I got the opportunity to work on her, I had to jump. Where'd you receive your training? Both Gabby and I started in the Alliance, serving on the SSV Perugia. She flew in the first wave at the Battle of the Citadel. We saw Sovereign firsthand. Why did you leave the Perugia? After you died, Anderson lost political clout. The Council backslid on the Reaper menace. They discounted Sovereign as an isolated threat, as a single... Which was bullshit. They said your warnings of a greater danger were mistaken or delusional. We lost respect for Alliance leadership. We need to fight the real enemy, and only Cerberus seemed to be doing that. Well, that actually does make sense. I'm like, whatever the hell Jacob said. What do you think about Cerberus? Actually, we don't know much about the organization other than the Normandy team. We know our mission and who's in charge. We're off to kick the Collectors right in their daddy bags. That's enough for me. Carry on. Will do, Commander. Cool. I'm amazed Shepard came down to see us. I told you she would. Isn't she the best popper?
Okay, nothing down here. Well, that was quick. So oh, good. So oh, good. That's her collar jangling. She's a good pup. Well, it, just in case no one, someone is new, uh, this is a bathroom. <laughs> Every uh, areas that are locked are because we don't oh, have that crew member yet. How old? Ah, uh, she'll be a year old next month. Oh, you'll miss her first birthday. Well, my family lives in New Canton. Oh, uh, that colony's on the edge of the frontier. Could be vulnerable to collector attack, couldn't it? Exactly. It's most important that she have a first birthday. That's why I'm here. Also makes sense. The reporters. Life support. Bathroom. Chef Mess. surprise again. Come on, Rupert. I'm sorry, Princess. Filet mignon and caviar <laughs> coming right up. Let me just get out my doilies. That'd be real nice, like Mr. You. Gardner. Commander Shepard, the hero of the Citadel. You did humanity proud that day. As Sergeant Rupert Gardner here. How can I be a service? Do you have everything you need? I make do. But have you ever tried to prepare a decent meal with military provisions? I'm good, but I'm no miracle worker. Taking down the collectors is going to be rough business. The crew deserves a few fine meals before they throw themselves into the fire. What do you need? If I had some quality ingredients... Oh, shit. You've got more to worry about than grocery shopping on the Citadel. Forget I mentioned it. If I head that way, I'll keep an eye out. Much appreciated. Most of this list is probably standard fare for those Namby Pambies on the Citadel. Anything else you'd like to talk about? The move. You push back. They use that move a lot on all the characters. What do you do here on the Normandy? What don't I do? Most think of me as the ship's cook, but I'm also the facilities technician and custodian. HVAC, plumbing, non-mission critical electrical, I make sure they're all clean and running. So the man cleaning the toilets is also preparing the meals? I wash my hands, most of the time. This ain't no luxury <laughs> liner. You have to pull your own weight in a Cerberus vessel. And I catch what falls through the cracks. <laughs> through the cracks. How did you find your way into Cerberus? Can you believe I was once a family man, working the Ezo rigs along the frontier? I was happy enough, but losing everything to Batarian raiders can change your outlook. I needed oh. to make a difference. I'm no soldier, but I've got skills, and Cerberus keeps an eye out for talent. I'll do whatever it takes to help. Be that plumbing a sewer, routing an air duct, or keeping everyone's bellies full. Hmm. How do you feel about working for Cerberus? Damn proud. Cerberus gets the job done. The Alliance and Council have got their heads buried so deep up their butt puckers they can't see squat. It'll take good old human ingenuity to crush these collector vermin. Only Cerberus knows that. There she is. Sleepy little popper. Well, maybe you heard her collar jangle. Sorry. Okay. 
I won't take any more of your time. Back to work. Closed. What's this area of the ship? The sick bay. It is equipped to provide short-term emergency care. In the event of critical injury, personnel must be transferred to a fully equipped medical facility. Commander Shepard, I watched the Normandy crumble with you on board. It's good to see you alive. Nice to see a familiar face, Doctor. I feel the same. I wish more of the original crew could be here. The kind of trauma you endured would have changed most people. But not you, I see. Welcome back, Shepard. Do you have everything you need? I believe so. This medical bay seems very much like the sick bay on the original Normandy. Only thing missing are my private reserves. I even had a bottle of Ceres ice brandy that I was saving for a special occasion. I'll keep an eye out for a replacement bottle. Oh, you needn't. It's expensive, and we have much larger concerns ahead. Doctor, you've been with the Alliance for years. Why leave now? After the Normandy was lost, the surviving crew was reassigned. I was stationed at the Mars Naval Medical Center. A very respectable position, but it wasn't on a starship. Colonial military life isn't for you? I've spent most of my life on warships, never knowing what the next mission might bring. I'm used to the hum of engines, the creaking of bulkheads, that subtle vertigo when the momentum dampeners kick in. Life planet side is just too static, too boring. I agree, Jacquas. If only. Makes me want to fly. You're not the Cerberus type, Doctor. I don't work for Cerberus. I work for you. On a mission that may be crucial to the survival of the human race. I have faith that your dealings with Cerberus will be ethical. I trust you, Commander. She's always... Got her eye on what's really going on. There's a very good chance this mission will be a one-way trip. Are you prepared for that? I've been through the reclaiming of Shanxi, the Skillian Blitz. We survived the Battle of the Citadel and the destruction of the Normandy together. I've lived a full life. No regrets. I'd like to make sure the crew gets the same opportunity. I'll see you later, Doctor. Commander. kind of look like twinsies with our same outfits. Anchors! Guess we don't have any stuff unlocked yet. Oh, Miranda. We didn't go see Miranda. Interesting. Interesting. Big old quarters. Commander, what can I do for you? Anything I should know regarding the Normandy? The crew's working well, and the ship appears to be performing to specifications. What exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. Do you have a minute, Miranda? No doubt you've got a lot of questions. Cerberus isn't as evil as most people believe. If I can help allay any of your concerns, I'd be happy to do so. So, what would you like to know? Tell me about yourself, Miranda. Oh, I guess that's fair. I've spent the last two years learning everything there is to know about you. Well, you should probably know that I've had extensive genetic modification. Not my decision, but I make the most of it. It's one of the reasons the elusive man handpicked me. I'm very good at just about anything I choose to do. What level of genetic modification are we talking about? 
That's very thorough. Physically, I'm superior in many ways. I heal quickly and I'll likely live half again as long as the average human. My biotic abilities are also very advanced. For a human. Add to that some of the best training and education money can buy and... Well, it's pretty impressive, really. It sounds like you were designed to be perfect. Maybe. But I'm not. I'm still human, Shepard. I make mistakes like everyone else. And when I do, the consequences are severe. Everyone expects a lot from someone with my... abilities. You certainly don't lack for confidence. It's just a fact. My reflexes, my strength, even my looks, they're all designed to give me an edge. No point in hiding from it. It's the reason I'm trusted to oversee the most dangerous, risky, and technically demanding operations Cerberus undertakes. And it's why I was assigned to you. It's my job to make sure you succeed, Shepard. And she's really useful. Thanks for the information, Miranda. I'll talk to you later. <gasps> Horse Commander, whatever you need. I don't get to ask the other questions? I want to know all the other things. Commander, what can I do for you? What exactly are your duties aside from keeping an eye on me? I'm the elusive man's agent. You're his most important asset. My job is to make sure you succeed. Aside from that, I send regular reports to the elusive man, updating our status. <gasps> they won't let me ask the other questions. What? Do you have a minute, Miranda? There's a lot to do, Shepard. Maybe another time. I'll let you work. Of course, Commander. Well... Mistakes were made. Alright. Well, pretty quick tour so far. What's this area of the ship? This is the commanding officer's quarters. It's larger than the quarters of other warships I've served on. This is a Cerberus vessel, not an Alliance warship. Accommodations have been made for personal taste. That said, this space is directly under the exterior pressure hall. The fitting yard workers called it the loft. I love living in the loft. I was gonna say except for a, ma a mass effect or a mass effect three. Two in mass effect three. Whoa! Come see me. If you are alive. <laughs> Meet up with Zaid, we made a deal. Project Firewalker is a little floaty ship. You don't do any more Mako missions, just Firewalker ones. There's only a couple. And the Firewalker dies real fast, so you have to be really careful. 
This was already marked on the galaxy map when I looked, but yes. Normandy SR1 crash site is in the same star cluster that we're in. It's just not the same system right now. So I'd have to go look around the system before I go get Morden, which is usually with my plan anyway before I do main missions, is to make sure I sweep this the sweep the star cluster for extra stuff and then go for the main mission. We'll see. So anyway, we can go there and see the crash site. Uh, presumably where they found my body, I guess? Ah, uh, specialty item, the recon hood. The DLC that's included is called Overlord. It's very, it's very interesting. Ooh, a specialty item, the arc projectile. Very good. Very good. Uh, what are they called? Heavy weapon. Yes. It's like Thor. Lightning bolts that like connect to all your enemies. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's a really good weapon. Meet with Kazumi. Similar to the meet with Zaid. My money. Hey, Commander. You have money. You're now alive instead of dead. This is how many credits we are willing to give back to you. I think like... Whatever. Team. Yup. Lamb's not that great. Alright. There's a lot we got going on here. We got a Krogan, Warlord, we got Archangel, we got Morden, Salarian, we got Jack, Convict, presumably. No, also of unknown. So Archangel and Jack, I don't think we know their um, race. Is that right? Nope, human. Jack's human. I mean, I know their race, obviously, and you probably do too, but at this point in the game, you don't know. Um, unknown race, looks like. Human soldier dude human sneaky thief very she's great I love her boop we have a bathroom <gasps> toilet flushes and the mirror works. No fishies yet, but I do love to collect the fishies. Fishies for me! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How is that possible? Nope. Wrong one. Okay. Nope. Alright. Good. She is often wrong because I have just checked all my messages. Okie dokies. Buying the fuel. I often forget to do. I have 
Well, let's take care of this one first. Good. Small system. Alright. Ooh, look at how many minerals I start with. Wait, how many is that? Is that... I don't... I'm sorry. Okay. Whew. It's very high. Not worth it. Okay. <gasps> Ezo! Probe away. In research projects, Element Zero is used for bioamp and Omni tool upgrades, which allow squad members who have biotic and tech powers to be much more effective. Launching probe. In research projects, Iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. Probe launched. In research projects, Platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Launching probe. Heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Probe away. Launching probe. Launching probe. All right. To the six figures, real quick. Start it off with six. launching probe. Launching probe. That's probably good. The bummer with the probes is that you can detect an anomaly but have zero probes. And so, because you didn't fire a probe at the anomaly, you have to get out and come back. <laughs> Launching probe. <laughs> Some of these amounts don't seem worth it for a whole probe. And that's iffy. Because we have so much already. Do we risk going to another system? I think we do. Oh, that would be really close. Okay. Fuel at one half capacity. Probes. Oh. Probe. Probe launched. I need to turn the vibration off on my controller. It might be messing with my. That's launching probe. It's interfacing with. be okay. Probe 
probe away. away launching probe eleven We're doing all right probe launched usually the ones that I get lower on are the outside too the element zero and the palladium. That's only because I keep trying to keep myself at the game, which is totally unnecessary. You don't need you don't need that. <laughs> Launching probe. Probe launched. an anomaly. Ha ha! Oh no. Status of system operator is not something on our sensors. Cerberus. Oh, no, this one's fine. Great one. Ugh. It's frustrating. But this one's fine. Let's finish scanning though. Launching probe. Probe launched. Launching probe. Good reason to do this. Um, probably not as probe much away. as I do it, but there's reason to do it because there's lots of goodies probe to upgrade. Launched. Once you pick up Morden. Probe away. But still. A lot of just doing this. <sighs> Alright, let's see if there's if it's worth that one. Come back here with more probes. It is uh, not. So we'll close that scanner and we will land. That is what we will do. Not a lot of options. <laughs> kind of wish they wouldn't make me do this if there's literally only two options. Hmm. <sighs> Let's see here. What does this song? Stuff. 
Yes. I am gonna have squat incendiary ammo like really fast, so no. This is not super important, but let's <clears throat> actually let's only use it when we need it. No options, no options. Get the new guns. Yeah, sometimes I can see the name of something. You can see something. And I cannot find the little square Enemies highlight. in front! I always forget that this is actually kind of hard. This one. Get detonations. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Oh no, there's another one that's There's the other one. Oh no. I was like, where is it? Alright, that was a mistake. But it was fun. Let's try again. Vanguard it is harder to say alive, but way more fun. Hmm? Alrighty. such a time. Who are you? 
Yeah, ha! You're dead of hiding. Down. We're hiding. Nice trip! I'll tear you apart. Weakening their integrity. Uh -oh. I'll tear you apart. And are you dead? Uh, yeah. Nice. <clears throat> Here this whole time? Got it. Hello? Miranda. <laughs> I think she's stuck. It's really unfortunate. Super unfortunate. Find found a guy, he's a Cerberus agent, captured the guy. Um 
hopefully we get data out of him. We interrogate the guy. Got some data packet, but never got him to give up the cipher. Surprise, surprise! Torture might not be the most useful thing in the whole world. Hey, my butt dead. Depends what we're having for today. I feel great about potatoes. That's me, Why am I so hurt? Oopsie doops. Come on out! Moving to point! Yes. Without Miranda, this forever last time. Oh, and there's more. Lovely. Right. 
You bet. Now that one. Watch your fire. Nice work. Ah. Now finish them. Understood. On it. Get ready to burn. Friendly fire. Can they actually get damaged by friendly fire or are they just being dramatic? Just dramatic. Do not make injured by actually actual friendly fire. Oh, except you can get murdered by a heavy weapon. It explodes like the nuclear blast. <laughs> you can die from that. You can kill your whole squad. <laughs> They're not in cover when you fire that thing. And yourself! You kill yourself too, that's true. That's very true. I don't know if that's true for all your weapons. Yeah, she seems fine. Chair. There's our dead Cerberus agent. And we access the logs. This computer contains the encrypted intelligence extracted from the captured Cerberus agent. The information could adversely affect Cerberus if it were ever circulated publicly. Oopsies. So we're getting more probes. We always have to do that. Go back to the fuel station, buy a bunch of fuel, buy a bunch of probes, then go back out. Probe. Probe 
launched. Launching probe. It's too bad we gotta get all these peeps. Before they'll let me get Thane. Launching probe. Yeah, and you don't meet Thane until you probe away. going on, so that's all right. Welcome back, puppy. Pardon me. Probe launched. Probe away. Probe launched. Launching probe. Launching probe. Launching probe. Got still lots of planets. Do -do. Probe away. Do -do. Sometimes I 
wait until the very end. Right before suicide mission. I think I've done it after the suicide mission. And then other times I try to do it earlier because it has so many good bonuses. Um, but I also don't want to be too green when I go in because... I did it as an infiltrator. Other time I did it as a band. Probe away. It was okay though. Just not perfect. This is the last one in my hand. Probe launched. I'm trying to remember if the Vanguard had more trouble than the Adept character that I played as. Hmm, I can't remember who had the most trouble. Alrighty. So we got one left. One star system left. Amada. We have used half our fuel. Amada. Amada. Am Amada. 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 Let's make sure we at least use a probe to do this. Anomaly. If we have any probes left. Forgot to check. Okay. Probe launched. <laughs> Two probes. Alright. Scans have found something. Yep. See if there's any more stuff. Come back. So we're gonna come back anyway. Alright, this planet is rich, we'll come back. Blurg. Actually, let's make the most of this. Probe launched. It is a little tedious. But it's not as tedious as running around in the Mako. Actually, they might be equal because this is the Mako in the Legendary Edition. They've changed it to make it a lot easier to deal with. Like, I might prefer the Mako. Plus, with this one, there's like so many places. Like literally every planet you might. You need to look around and see if there's something there. Oof. Usually in the first game there's like one thing in each star system. You have to find all you have to do is click on the planet, you know. And then when you find that one planet that's got something, you gotta land and do Rufara. This is tedious for Rufara on each planet. Probe launched. Launched. At the end of the game, you can kind of ignore it. It's about most of your stuff. You have enough stuff. Enough resources. Probe away. That's why I always keep launching probes. Figures. I go. But at the beginning, it's just get everything. Probe launched. Wait. Launched. Especially the outside. Now I know those, are, those two are harder to get. I think they are used less though, so it's not as big of a deal, you know? Alright, close the scanner. We land, we do the mission. 
here we go. Double check that sound. Some of my audio not coming through. Is some of it is not coming through. Oh well, I have to live with it. Purpley sheen. Not armor. We might change that. Yeah, you can put that away. Oh, look! Do, do, do. Twelve experience. circle this way from the shuttle. Last time I circled the other way, so we're gonna go this way this time. I always want to put the monument underneath those spiky stuff, but they like for it to be out. Here. So, we'll put it here. tedious mission as well. Sorry everybody. This one's more interesting. <laughs> A lot of shots. to the keepers. Pretty sure you only have to collect 20 of these. In the first game you have to you know, scan 20 keepers. You know, the 20 keeper scan.
data pad is where you find out that Presley became a xenophobic, and it's very sweet. Body must have been um somewhere nearby. Should be one of one more of those boxes somewhere. How many is that? Oh, really? You won't. Really... I rescind my compliment about you showing it to me on the screen because I can't look it up, which is really inconvenient. Eighteen of twenty-two more. Hmm. Right. Right out in the open. Alright, one more. Where, ooh, it's gotta be over here. I haven't been up in here. Oh. Not really. Got him. Hey, uh, where is my shuttle? Yes. Very thorough. Very quick. We did it. Um, may 
have forgotten any of those. That's like finished with this star cluster. You might think, surely we are, and yet we are not. Hiding tiny little planets near the suns on this one. Mass Effect 2. Probe away. Puddin, I would need your vote. I'm leaning towards going to get Morden first. I have Broke away. got an Archangel first a couple times now. You have a vote. Broke away. Why? It is. It is way more useful than having Jacob. But, so what team would you say is the most useful of the people that you would have if Bro you go launched. get Morden and then Archangel? I'm, you, obviously Morden, but who else? Away. <laughs> Always Miranda. She is very useful. Launching probe. The other times I've done it, I've always had Zaid with me, too. Launching probe. So I brought him, him and Miranda, to a lot of the fights, um, the original Omega fights. This go around, I didn't go get him yet. So I've only got Jacob and probe Miranda, launched. and they are not a good team. At least they're a terrible team for my vanguard. I don't think Saeed would be adding a whole lot either, because I chose Inferno Grenade as my special power. Probe launched. Oh, that's true. Launching probe. Do you think uh, Miranda is better than Archangel? Probe launched. At the beginning. For the. Well, I guess it's true. I guess, yeah. No, I, my only other option is Jacob. I don't know why I thought I would have more options. They don't do not have other options. You know why I, I keep going to get Zaid and Kasumi, or just Zaid, I think, usually. 
Oh, because they toes up on Omega. That's why. So that I don't have to take Jacob with me on one of the... That's, that's why. I don't like bringing Jacob with Miranda. It's never a great team. So far it hasn't been Launching probe. You ever use Jacob? What about in getting more in? I meant would you? Yes, but I am going to have Inferno ammo for the squad. Shabam! Okay, you don't have to tell me. Probe launched. Away. Indoor instead of in Probe away. Probe away. You know how many resources they started me off with in every category? <laughs> they started me with 60 grand in each of the categories. Which is a very many. I think. Yeah. I don't like that their 60% and 80% look very similar. For is Ezo really? Ezo and Palladium, perhaps. What we're looking <laughs> that's, that's, that's what's happening right now. Mild looking. Okay, we give up. Oh, 100%. Alright, finally. Here we go. Good. Let's make sure nothing is going wrong. Want to see? I already got this many warps. It's very good. 
I am going to bring this now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can I mute this? Ah, welcome to oh, Omega. Okay. You're new here, aren't you? I can always tell. Allow me to. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, Mocklin. I was just. Leave, Fargot. Now. Oh, of course, Mocklin. Whatever she wants. Blasted scavengers, welcome to Omega, Shepard. You know who I am? Of course. We had you tagged the moment you entered the Terminus systems. You're not as subtle as you think. Arya wants to know what Definitely brings a dead wasn't. specter to Omega. I suggest you go to Afterlife now and present yourself. Remember, I'm trying to be renegade. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Cut the attitude. I'm not here to cause problems for Omega. Things explode around you, Shepard. You can't blame Aria for keeping an eye on you. Afterlife, now. Quarantine warnings about the slums where Dr. Morton Solis runs the clinic. Anticipate resistance at the transport station. I have also accessed messages between mercenary groups regarding plans to deal with the Archangel. There's a recruiting station at Afterlife that may have information on him. Sweet. Please. Please, you have to help me. No one said you could talk, jackass. You Zaid Masani? Yeah, that's me. You must be Commander Shepard. I hear we have a galaxy to save. I assume you've been briefed? I've done my homework. Cerberus sent me everything I needed to know. My contacts told me we're picking up one man, not two. Batarian delinquent. Pissed off someone rich enough to hire me to go after him. And for my bring him in alive rates, even. Please. I didn't do it. I said, <laughs> shut it. Tried to leave me on a chase all over the systems. He should have known better. These people always run to Omega. What's gonna happen to him? I'm gonna turn him in for the bounty. Don't much care what happens after that. What's your relationship with Cerberus? Easy. Cerberus is paying me a lot of money to help you on your mission. That's the long and short. Not many mercs would take a suicide mission for the pay. Most mercs don't get an offer like the one Cerberus sent me. This mission doesn't sound like good business, but <sighs> your elusive man can move a lot of credits. Good to have you, Zaid. We have a lot to do. That's what they tell me. I assume the elusive man told you about our arrangement. No. I guess he decided to leave that information out of the dossier. Good thing I asked. Picked up a mission a little while back, just before I signed on with Cerberus. Thought you might be interested. You heard the name Vito Santiago? He's the head of the Blue Suns. Runs the whole organization. Seems he recently captured an Eldfell Ashland refinery on Zoya and is using their workers for slave labor. The company wants it dealt with. I'll make sure we get that done. Good. Get it out of the way so we can concentrate on being big goddamn heroes. <laughs> sure, Zaid. I better turn this thing in before it starts to stink. I'll be locked and loaded next time you're ready to get some killing done. Okay.
Miranda has something to say about this place, doesn't she? Here it is. Omega, what a piss hole. At least it keeps you on your toes. I've had to come here on business before. I feel like I need a shower afterward, in addition to normal decontamination. Although it is funny that they were like, they weren't subtle. I went literally all over the entire system doing stuff. What are you looking at? Don't you have something better to do than pick fights with people you don't know? No, just the ones who get in my face. You see my gun. Do you really want to do this? I... fine. You're off the hook. For now. See you around. Close enough. Trinity! She has a real name though. Stand still! If you're looking for weapons, you're not doing a very good job. Can't be too careful with dead specters. That could be anyone wearing your face. I was told you're the person to talk to if I have questions. They're clean. Depends on the questions. You run Omega? <laughs> I am Omega. But you need more. Everyone needs more something and they all come to me. I'm the boss, CEO, queen if you're feeling dramatic. It doesn't matter. Omega has no titled ruler and only one rule. Don't fuck with Arya. I like it. Easy to remember. If you forget, someone will remind you. And then I toss your sorry ass out the nearest airlock. So, what can I do for you? So you must know what's what on Omega. Everything that's worth knowing. I don't usually give it out freely. Information is power. Mundane things you can find yourself. Take a walk in a back alley or buy one of the mercs a drink. Better yet, talk to the entertainers. They give great tours. Just don't waste my time. One scan and we're straight to business. People are usually more concerned about who I am. Your death was downplayed, but hardly what I call a secret. I had to make sure it was really you. You could have been anyone, anything. Whatever you need will come out on its own. I'm curious, but Omega doesn't really care about you. Tell me how you got set up here. That's as privileged as information gets. I have many friends and enemies I keep at varying distances. I don't count you among either. We'll see how useful you prove. Short answer, mind your own damn business. 
I'm trying to track down Archangel. You and half of Omega. You want him dead too? Why is everyone after him? He thinks he's fighting on the side of good. There is no good side to Omega. Everything he does pisses someone off. It's catching up to him. Just the kind of guy I'm looking for. Really? Well, aren't you interesting? You're gonna make some enemies teaming up with Archangel. That's assuming you can get to him. He's in a bit of trouble right now. What kind of trouble? The local Merc groups have joined forces to take him down. They've got him cornered, but it sounds like they're having trouble finishing him off. They've started hiring anybody with a gun to help them. Sounds like that might be our ticket in. They're using a private room for recruiting. Just over there. I'm sure they'll sign you up. What can you tell me about Archangel? Not as much as I'd like. He showed up here several months ago and started causing all sorts of problems. If you make your own laws, which everyone here does, he makes life difficult. He's reckless and idealistic, but he seems to know enough to stay clear of me. Only a couple of months ago, huh? But it's been two years? Which Merc groups are after Archangel? Blue Suns, Eclipse, Blood Pack. They're Omega's major players. Unless they're at war, you'll never see them together. But one thing they hate more than each other is Archangel. I appreciate the help. See if you still feel that way when the Mercs realize you're here to help him. I'm looking for Morden Solus. Do you know where I can find him? The Solarian Doctor? Last I heard, he was trying to help plague victims in the quarantine zone. I always liked Morden. He's as likely to heal you as he is to shoot you. What can you tell me about him? He used to be part of the Solarian Special Tasks group. He's brilliant and dangerous. Just don't get him talking. He never shuts up. If you really need to find him, <laughs> take a shuttle to the quarantine zone. No guarantee they'll let you in, of course. Thanks for the information. Yes. Just try not to bring the plague back with you. And I love her. She, her delivery makes all of her lines so good. Even the boring lines. Oh, they're so good. Let's do this part. We don't have to do this part and finish the mission. I hear you're recruiting. Mm. Why don't you oh, step wait, inside? Maybe I'd rather. You'll get paid when the job's oh, done, I just like well, everyone else. Who's next? Well, aren't you sweet? You're in the wrong place, honey. Stripper's quarters are that way. Wow, not even a smile. So you're here to fight them? Sure, if this is the place to go after Archangel. This is the place. Standard fee is 500 credits each. You get paid when the job's done. If you die, your friends don't collect your share. You'll need your own weapons and armor. Looks like you got that covered. And no, this does not make you a member of the Blue Suns, Eclipse, or the Blood Pack. You are a freelancer, period. Any questions? Aw, oh, he and I kind of match. Why are the Mercs working together to take down Archangel? You haven't been on Omega long, huh? He does everything he can to screw with us. Shipments go missing. Operations are compromised. Every month it gets worse. Derek and the other bosses are tired of losing credits. And men. Is he a heavy hitter? How many Merc bosses are involved in this attack? Yeah, Derek runs the Blue Suns, but all three bosses are overseeing the operation. Jared's leading the Eclipse and Garm's the head of the Blood Pack. Derek's in charge, but the others would never say that. I'm surprised they're in on this at all, but I guess getting rid of Archangel is worth it. What do we do once we're there? How do we get to Archangel? The mercs will tell you when you get there. Last I heard, they were putting the freelancers into scouting groups. They attack in waves to distract Archangel while we try to get past his defenses. So we're just fodder for his bullets? If you don't like it, don't sign up. But if you do your job right, it's easy credits. Besides, what are the odds he can kill all of you? Pretty damn good. Seems like a lot of trouble for just one guy. 
He had a whole team, but we dealt with them. Now he's just one guy. But he's got the advantage. It's his base of operations, and he knows we're coming. He's planned for an attack like this. We've lost a lot of men trying to get to him already. It's gonna be tough to get to him. Like chasing a vorch out of the sewer pipes. But that's where we're recruiting. If we just keep throwing fighters at him, we'll get him eventually. Not a good plan. Where's the attack taking place? Archangel's base of operations. He's been hiding right under Not our noses. Plan. I can't tell you exactly where you're going, but we'll get you there. Where do we go? Just head over to the transport depot outside the club. One of our boys will take you from there. Send in the next one. Hey, is this where I sign up? You look a little young to be freelancing as a merc. I'm old enough. I grew up on Omega. I know how to use a gun. So does Archangel. I can handle myself. Besides, I just spent 50 credits on this pistol and I want to use it. Get your money back. Hey, what are you... Trust me, kid. You'll thank me later. A lot of Paragon for that. I wonder when, how many bars you need to get Zaid. You know you need like 70% Paragon with all of your last like choices. But like... Also, wait, well, let's go this way. Come on, let me in. Expecting me. Hello there. Might I interest you in some salvage tech? Every credit goes toward a ticket to get me off this forsaken rock. I buy a lot of parts and equipment. Maybe we can make an arrangement. Well, you seem like a decent person, but you can't breathe a word of it to Harry. Of course. Then we have a deal. Maybe I'll at least sell something to you. What brought a nice kid like you to Omega? My pilgrimage. What money I had got stolen within a few days, so I decided to sell salvage parts. You can see how that turned out. Harrod's forcing me to sell high, and I can't even afford a ticket off this station. Why does Harrod control your prices? Harrod made me swear not to undercut him, no matter what. He was here first, so it's his right. But no one will buy from me when he's so much cheaper. I can't save enough money for a ticket off the station. I could go talk to Harrod for you. Get him to ease up. I won't stop you. If you can convince him to lay off, then maybe I'll get off this station after all. His shop's up the ramp, near where Marsh sells his goods. Anything you can do will be much appreciated. I have to go. Please check with my kiosk to see what I have for sale. And thank you. Definitely need that. I don't know if I need that. I do like that gun. It's a good gun. It needs charging up. Don't want to spend the heavy amounts yet. Tell Captain Gavorn we not kill anyone today. I don't know a Captain Gavorn. Why would I tell him anything? Not trust you. Tell Gavorn we know his tricks. We not kill anyone today. There seem to be a lot of Vorcha on Omega. Go 
away. Talk too much. Gabborn stocks get no more. We leave. Good talking to you. No more talk. We know Gabborn's tricks. We leave. Okay. party and everything. <laughs> no hard feelings, though, huh? No, really. Thanks for taking the time to chase a small-time crook off the Citadel so I could squat in the shithole for years. And if you leave the straight and narrow, I'll be there to follow up. Right, right, because you don't have planets to save and bigger shit like that. Nothing better to do than keep me down. Goddamn saviors of the galaxy. Messing with a man's living. All right. Interesting. No. You said he had close family. They'll just want revenge. Kill the family first. Then he'll get angry and come at you stupid. And then you kill him. I don't think I know you, human. I'm the Patriarch. Arius Patriarch. What do you want? Why do they call you Patriarch? It's like an Asari Matriarch, only male. It was Arya's little joke. After she took me down, she let me live. Kept me around as an advisor and a trophy. A Krogan as old as you must have some great stories. I killed a lot of people, lived well, and was beaten by a small Asari who keeps me around as an example. My time is done. Anyone I killed is long forgotten. The stories are Arya's now. What do you know about Arya? Uh, a few centuries ago, Omega was my rock. When Arya arrived, she had nothing but the clothes on her back. I thought she was another dancer. <laughs> she killed half my men and convinced the rest that she could run this place better than I did. She came for me here in this bar. We tore this place apart. She crushed one of my hearts, shattered half the bones of my body, and left me alive. What made her decide to leave you alive? No, she doesn't destroy what she can use. She said I could have all my old comforts if I served as her advisor. I knew how things worked. I knew who to lean on, who to smack down, who to smile at. And everyone who respected me saw me beaten, broken. They knew that as strong as I'd been, she was stronger. I should be going. Very nice. It's the exact same dancer. And dance? Yes, it is. Well, maybe not the same dancer. Dance is the same though, which is suspicious. Suspicious. Oh, I can dance badly. Yeah, see, she's got crazy arms going on. Why can't I have some crazy arms? All right, let's get poisoned.
Say something, Commander. What's going on here? You ought to be all right. Just take her easy. Looks like you broke the first rule of Omega. Don't order a drink at Afterlife if you're human. Humans aren't welcome at Afterlife? It's just that one Batarian bartender. He's got a stick up his ass about a bunch of Batarians that died a while back. No one does a thing about it, though. Humans ain't exactly held in high regard around here. That bartender tried to poison me? Tried is the word. As far as I know, you're the first human to survive it. Me and my friend Jake went there to celebrate our new shipping business. He got real drunk. And an hour later, he was puking blood. Duly noted. Let's get back to work. Be careful out there. Far away from the bar. This place. How can these people be left to rot like this? You don't understand, or you don't want to. Doesn't really matter. No. Omega has worked this way for a very long time. No one's changing it now. I might have something here for humans. Not much. I'm in the mood to spend some money, but I think I can find better stuff elsewhere. You won't find a better selection anywhere. Unless you're willing to risk the black market. I'd rather deal with you than give money to those thieves. You sure we can't make a deal? Look, I can't compete with the black market. I have to make a profit. I'll do what I can. But don't tell any girl I'll lose my shirt. Hundreds of potential relationships ranging from the demure to the deranged, the kind to the kinky. With Catano's relationships, no, not the time for extra spending until we have what money. Your love should be. Charles Saracino, leader of the Terra Firma party and former Alliance Parliament candidate, has pledged guilty Firma to the Terra party. Speech. Okay. He is in custody pending sentencing. No time to do Tentatively excited. Welcome, human. What can I get? What kinds of things do you sell here? Friendly, salvaged parts. All kinds. Mostly legitimate. With pride, my prices are the lowest anywhere on the station. You won't find salvage cheaper than mine. Tell me about your deal with the Quarian over there. Suspicious. If I had made such a deal, I would certainly not be inclined to discuss it. Accusatory. I don't understand how it is any concern of yours. What if you and I make a deal? You let him set his own prices, and I won't break your legs. With barely contained terror, you drive a hard bargain, human. I haven't even started. Resignation. Very well. I will release the Quarian from his promise. Conciliatory. To show there is no ill will, I offer you a discount on my own wares. I have things to do. Courteously. Have a fine day. Take a look at my kiosk if you want to buy anything. Headshots. Shields. fine with my hacking, but it will get me more money.
This is the shortest way back from Florian. You know, I think you're right about the Morden being more useful. Possibly than um, Zaid. You know? I think you're right about that. I heard you spoke to Harrod. Thank you so much. At this rate, I'll be off the station in no time. Take care of yourself. You too. Alright, do I want the expensive thing? I mean, I do. This is valuable. It is very valuable. Okay, There's one place I haven't been. Go back that way. Uncovered Saren's plan, defeated the Geth army, and died in the final days of the fight. Or did she? Witnesses report seeing her alive on Omega. Got a dangerous job. Speaker. I benefit from some of this stuff immediately. I forget which ones. Remember which things you benefit from immediately without needing the lab. Some of the stuff you buy, you benefit from it immediately. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I could be wrong. Oh yeah, you're gonna be done. Do I know you? No, no, you humans all look the same. Here, have a drink on the house. Have a drink on the house. What do you think these people will do when they find out you're poisoning your customers? Poisoning what now? This has nothing to do with you! Who's next? Turians? You don't like them either, right? Answer the damn question, Forvan. You want a piece of me? I'll leave your corpse for the fortune. All right. Ooh. Not taking any chances. Is he the same guy that shows up in the club during tomorrow's bastard deserve loyalty what got. quest? He I might be. Olgren. I think he is. I think Ogren shows up in that in the VIP section. Two years after a Geth attack nearly destroyed it, the colony of Zoo's Hope has announced plans for an expansion. Commander Shepard, <gasps> is that you? survived you? too. I I'd heard you were dead. I'm Helena Blake. We met a few years ago. I don't expect you'd remember. You removed two criminal warlords from power and persuaded me to retire. I'll never forget it. What brings you to Omega? What brings anyone to Omega? Opportunity, success, failure, all of the above. I find this place suits me. I can bring it a certain air of civility, I suppose. And now you're on Omega. Once a criminal, always a criminal, eh? Oh no, Commander. I retired. I know better than to go back on my word with you. You convinced me to turn my life around. I'm a social worker now, believe it or not. That seems like a hopeless job in a place like this. Quite the opposite, actually. This place needs it more than most. Doing the good work in a place like this requires that one understand how things truly work. Which makes me uniquely qualified. That's more noble than I expected. Noble? No. 
It's just that someone came along a few years ago and made me see the error of my ways. You convinced me that I could use my contacts and skills for things other than smuggling and exploitation. I thank you for that. Well, I'm glad to hear you're keeping out of trouble. Thank you. This is all to your credit, Commander. I have to go. Of course. You must have more important things to do. It always sounds so disingenuous to me. I'm so full of it. Head to the transport area outside the club. That's right. <laughs> Everywhere that we can go right now. Ashley Williams. Complaining is pointless, you. I told you to get lost, lady. The plague has the whole zone quarantined. Nobody gets in. I'm human, you ass. Humans can't get the plague. Now let me get my stuff out before looters get it. This thing affects every other race out there. We're not taking chances. Nobody gets in until the plague has run its course. Meaning everyone dies? So you're saying the slums are completely sealed off? Finally, a human that can hear. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. You can't keep me out. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. I'm doing you a favor, human. Anybody in the quarantine zone will be dead from the plague of the gangs in a few weeks. I didn't think Omega had any kind of law enforcement. Who gave the order to quarantine the slums? Fresh off the transport, huh? Arya Tilope calls the shots around here. She's got her little blue hands on every business in this district. And a plague is bad for business. She hired us to keep anyone from entering or leaving the quarantine zone. There's a Salarian named Morden Solis in the slums. I've got to get in there to find him. The doctor? A yeah, crazy bastard opened a clinic in the district a few months ago. The Blue Suns weren't too happy when he moved in. I hear Morden's trying to deal with the plague. I wish him luck, but the area is still locked down. Our orders are to wait until either the plague or the blue suns kill everyone. Then go in and clean up. I didn't think diseases could cross species barriers. Turians and Salarians can't even eat the same food. Right. Most people figure that it has to be synthetic. Somebody engineered it. And it either got loose, or they're testing it here. And seeing as how humans are immune to the plague and doing a fair bit of looting, a lot of people think humans made it. Any idea where I can find Morden's clinic? Not a clue. What do you care? The place is quarantined, remember? Tell me more about this plague. It starts out as a cough, then you start coughing blood, and, well, then I shoot you. It affects multiple species, Turians, Salarians, Krogan, you name it. Only humans are immune, and Vorcha, if you count them. An airborne disease that takes down multiple races, can't let that spread. Hence the quarantine. Who are the Blue Suns? Mercenary gang that runs the district. At least they used to. The guys are mostly Turian. I heard the plague hit them pretty hard. Now the whole district is up for grabs. I hear the Vorcha are making a move. The plague can't hurt them. Immune to disease. Just one more reason you don't want to go in there. Wait, what's the name of the gang that Zaid used to run? I thought it was the Blue Suns. You said they're mostly Turian? They're run by humans? Does it change this mission if you go on his loyalty quest and blow up their commander? Probably not. I feel like I've done his loyalty quests ahead of time and brought him along. 
It didn't really change anything. Oh, he has a couple lines with some of the Merc bosses on the Garrus mission. Listen, you're stuck here till this quarantine's over. That could take weeks. What you really need is to get this problem solved right now. That's what I do. Solve problems. Let me in and I'll get this district straightened out. You think you can fix this? Why not? <laughs> Quarantine is more to keep infected people in anyway. I'll radio ahead, tell them you're coming in. Wait, you're stopping me, but not them? You son of a bitch. You don't have a grenade launcher, lady. Get lost. Fortunately, humans are immune to the plague. I thought I'd have a chance to redo my loadout and change my peepas. But I don't want to bring Jacob. <laughs> he will not be helpful. Passive shot is more useful if we can get them airborne, and we can't. Not with the team we have. Disruptor ammo could be helpful. Have to, oh, I can't get it all the way up. Experience. Maybe I can when we level up. have no options except for me and the arc reactor is the way to go <laughs> all right everybody um yes assault rifle yes uh heavy pistol understood shotgun get what we'll deal with first we save at the beginning of this. Just in case. Doodly doodly do. Manly manly ma. Manly manly ma. Stationed inside where the plague is? Seems like a rough spot to be stationed. Get hmm. what is where a lot of areas look the same. Good luck in there. Blue suns and orchards shooting anything that moves. Oh, I guess this is the spot. Why, hello. I see them. We got us. <coughs> this will put them down. Reach the target. Oh, yes, you can. Are you kidding? There we go. Dead. Ah, I did not die. <laughs> Play That's control right. at its most basic. Pile the bodies in the street and burn them. Very sanitary and not airborne at all with any problems. 
No airborne problems with that plan. Tried to claw his way out. Can't say I wouldn't do the same. Anything I can do for you. Get away from me, human. <coughs> Your kind has done too much already. Your plague did this to me. <laughs> Your faint pity is the final insult. Humans didn't create this plague. Lies trip from your mouth like the blood from my source. The proof is there for all to see. <coughs> Your species is the only one that does not succumb to the virus. <coughs> Yours and the wretched Vorcha. How would Shepard know that no human created this? Isn't it possible a human created this virus and Shepard... Shepard is like, no! I know it wasn't us! None of us! I've been in a coma for two years, but I, I need know. to find Morden's solace. Humans looking for the human sympathizer. <laughs> I hope the Vorcher burned Morden and his clinic to the ground. <laughs> I hope you. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> Damn it. Damn you. Hey, Damn. stay with me. This won't cure the plague, but it might help a bit. what I do. I don't know if I can find a cure for this plague, but I'm gonna try. Your words sound... sincere. <laughs> Maybe it's the fever. But as you said, what have I to lose? What do you wish to know? When I find Morden, I'll tell him about you. If he has a cure, I'll make sure someone gets it to you. 
My time is running short, but at least you have given me a flicker of hope to brighten the darkness of my final hours. I don't want to die. <coughs> Whatever Morden is, I will risk it if he can reach me. What makes Morden worse than dying from the plague? The Blue Suns tried to press him for protection money. He killed them, stunned them with some kind of toxin, then gunned them down. He's not just a doctor. Doctors don't execute people and display the bodies as a warning. <laughs> Why are you so convinced humans are behind this outbreak? The plague is too potent to be a naturally occurring virus. Airborne transmission across numerous species, near perfect mortality rate, it had to be created in a lab. And since humans are the only species not affected, there is only one logical conclusion. Aren't the Vorcha immune to the plague? What if they spread the virus so they could take over the district? Vorcha are immune to disease. <coughs> a human-created plague wouldn't affect them. But if the Vorcha created the plague, why wouldn't it affect humans? Besides, the Vorcha aren't smart enough to make a virus like this. They're scavengers. <coughs> Sorry, human. <coughs> you may not want to believe it, but all the evidence points to your species. I need to find Morden Solus. He has a clinic on the far side of the district. He's taking in refugees, offering to help those infected with the plague. I was afraid to no, go no, to no. him before. He is dangerous, but perhaps he can help. You were talking about Vorcha earlier. Before the quarantine, the Blue Suns controlled this district. But as their numbers fell to the plague, Vorcha moved in. Blue Suns are fighting to protect their territory, but as the plague spreads, it's only a matter of time until the Vorcha overwhelm them. I should go. Goodbye, human. Bypasses make me want to watch The Matrix. Starvation. I didn't even have the plague. I don't even know if it was the gangs that did it or if it was Arya's people. Oh, this fight. I know this fight. Let's go up here. All right. Deployed. Oh no, you missed. Overloading their systems. Yeah, how how do you keep missing? <clears throat> Alright, we're gonna try again. I'm on it. Uh, 
Okay, you guys got that one under control now. If only there we go. You'd figure that shit out. <laughs> Gotta stand up in order to do it for some reason. All right. Oh, this one. You know what? I'm gonna use it. that Zaid. These guys have shotguns, that puts me at kind of a disadvantage. Understood. Only concussive shot. That one. charge ability from up here. There's one guy. Somebody over there. Smite the other was. This will put him down! <sighs> Fail. Are you by yourself? No, you're with someone. You're by yourself. That was amazing! Shot, but it's fine. Hey, uh, we did it. All right, we check the area before we move on, you guys. You guys, you guys know the drill. Look around first. Wonder if storming is causing a problem like it was in that sick one. There's really nothing to find. Some ammo I guess. <sighs> ammo is nice. Whoopsies. Oh well, we keep we try again.
This plague started. The Blue Suns have been out to get us. They're killing as many people as the disease. Why are the Blue Suns hunting you? We didn't do anything. Pretty much every non-human in the district wants us dead. They think we caused the plague. Humans aren't getting sick, and that's all the evidence they need. God knows how many of us they've already killed. They should be looking at the Vorcha, not us. Ever since the plague hit, they've been taking over Blue Suns' territory. I recognize that you guy's said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around before. Sure seemed like they were ready for this. Only nobody thinks the Vorcha are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. You said the Vorcha were taking over Blue Suns' territory? Trying to. The Blue Suns don't go down easy. The plague softened them up, but they still have enough firepower to hold some of their turf. The Turians are getting pushed back. The deeper you go into the district, the more Vorcha you'll see. Unless they see you first. <laughs> Tell me more about the Blue Suns. They're a mercenary gang, mostly Turian. Used to run this district. Kept things nice and stable for the most part. As long as you paid your monthly protection fees, everything was cool. Rates were pretty reasonable. For Omega, at least. And this damn plague hit. Everyone started dying. The Vorta started moving in. The Blue Suns lost control and the whole district turned into a war zone. What else can you tell me about the plague? When did it start? The first cases cropped up about two weeks ago. Nobody paid much attention until it started two to spread. Weeks. Usually takes about a week to kill you, but it spreads fast. Three days after the first outbreak, there were over 50 known cases. That's when everyone noticed humans weren't getting sick. Then the quarantine came down and everything went to hell. Any idea how the victims contracted it? Not sure. Probably airborne. Even after the Blue Suns started sealing victims up inside their own apartments, the plague kept spreading. Now they just gun victims down and burn the bodies in the streets. Doesn't seem to be helping, though. People are dying by the dozens. Does not seem like it would help. You said the Vorcha moved in just after the plague hit? Right after the district was quarantined. Vorcha are immune to diseases, so they're not getting sick. Not sure where they came from. Never saw many Vorcha around. Oh, we already heard thinks this. the Vorcha yeah. are smart enough to create a virus like this. The Blue Suns need someone else to blame. Like us. I need to find Morden Solus. Oh, yeah. Him. He's got a clinic on the other side of the district. Heard he's taking in refugees now. Trying to help plague victims. Offering protection from the Suns and the Vorcha. Sure. A doctor with military-grade mechs helping people for free. On Omega, grow up. Sounds like you don't think much of the doctor in his clinic. The Vorcha tried to muscle in. He gunned them down. Just like that. Pop, pop, pop. Didn't even use his mechs. Then the Blue Suns heard he was sheltering humans and they went to burn down the clinic. He killed them, too. Then he went inside and got back to work. He's cold. Must be Solarian Special Forces or something. You can't stay trapped in this apartment. If you get to Morden's, you might at least survive until the quarantine ends. Are you nuts? We'd never make it. The streets are crawling with Blue Suns and Vorcha. We don't even have pistols. Besides, I'm not risking my life on a rumor that some Solarian might offer me sanctuary. I know you're scared, but your only hope is to get to Morden's clinic. I'm gonna be under fire from the Blue Suns and the Vorcha, so I can't take you with me. But I promise you this. I'll do what I can to leave a safe path for you to follow me. It's risky, but I think it's your only chance. Okay. You're right. We'll never make it if we stay here. We have to try. We'll wait here for a while and give you time to clear the way. Then we'll head for Morden's clinic, if we're lucky. Maybe we'll meet you there. I didn't realize how, when I made the character, how big and blue and anime-like my eyes would seem in close-up shots. Here we go. 
There's one more tough fight, and then the clinic. This fight... This is valuable. Maybe I'll have less trouble with the um, mech puppies. With my shotgun. And my fire somehow. If I can oh. Oh. Miranda die already. Oh she did, because there's a trooper. No, she didn't. I know you can reach him. Hell yeah! Okay. Oh! I was being bitten. Shield has failed. Fire coming at me still. Firing an impact shot. <laughs> oh, hello. Can't I shoot it? There we go. That old I've got no shield. Rumble. Are these all pyros? No. Nice. Overload explosion? I think so. I think overload helps. You know if that's supposed to work? Pyros, pyros, or the barrel. Get down. Or the barrel. Yes, even with their healing factor, this is amazing. This is the best this fight has ever gone. character and my <laughs> Oh, there he is. I'm on it. Krogan. Yes! I'm a fan. 
or the follower, the subscriber who told me. Eye blinding pink. <laughs> Someone is suggesting I need more eye blinding pink in my costume. I think they are being funny. Uh, Enemy down. And not serious. <laughs> They're gone now, so... How can they even tell right now? Everything looks sort of reddish-brown. Oh no, Miranda. Bring you back. seem to be doing okay. I'm just very uncertain about how many there are. More there are. You know? It seems we've crossed into Vorcha territory. The blue suns have given up a lot of time. Yes! We just did it like without dying! Came pretty close once. Usually this fight kills me at least once. Okay, uh... I got in here. Oh, I remember. Well, I thought I did. Hey, 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 back off. Get out of here, person. Oh wow, there's more rooms than I remember being up in here. Hey, what did I say? We found this stuff, it's ours. Ah, forget it. Nothing but junk in here. This place is worse than the last one. Hey, what happened to my camera? I'm gonna get my camera back. There we go. I don't know where it went. It's weird. What are you doing in this apartment? Did you kill that Turian? What, the guy on the floor? Nah, the plague took care of him. We're just here to take a full accounting of all his worldly possessions. Stealing from the dead. That's pretty low. 
What's the big deal? It's not like they're gonna miss anything. We're just showing a little entrepreneurial spirit. The plague doesn't affect humans, so we might as well cash in. Besides, didn't if we don't take this stuff, the Vorcha or Blue Suns will. Better us than them, right? This doesn't make any sense. Didn't we just take money from the dead guy in a different apartment? <laughs> yeah. No more looting. Oh, what? You gonna shoot us? This plague won't last forever. When the Blue Suns come back, they won't like you looting in their territory. Yeah, well, maybe they won't find out. It's not like there's any witnesses alive to tell them. Are some dead Turian's trinkets and a handful of credits worth that risk? We just wanted to make a bit of quick cash. But when you put it like that, it doesn't sound like such a good idea. Hardly found anything valuable anyway. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not worth it. Do you know a Solarian named Morden Solus? Yeah, I know him. Got a clinic right around the corner. Take plenty of ammo if you go that way. It's crawling with blue suns and Vorcha. The Blue Suns control this district, right? Well, they used to, before the plague wiped half of them out. Seems like it won't be long until the Vorcha finish them off. Yeah, I'm kind of sorry to see them go. Blue Suns ran a tight ship, kept the district in line for the most part. What else can you tell me about the plague? I don't know. Started about a week ago, I think. Aliens started dying off left and right, and they quarantined the district. Figured we had to look out for ourselves. Started scoping out some apartments, taking what we could carry. Seemed like a good idea at the time. Guess we didn't really think it through. What do you know about the Vorcha? The Blue Suns used to keep them down. But with all the Suns getting sick, the Vorcha are making a push to take over the district. Eh, don't know who's gonna come out on top. We just want to stay the hell out of the way. Tell me everything you know about Morden Solus. That guy is crazy. He'll patch up a gunshot wound for free, then kick your ass and throw you out when you try to grab a few painkillers. Be honest, man. You kinda had that coming. No way he's just a doctor. No doctor puts down a Blue Sun squad like that. All I know is if you go to his clinic, <laughs> well, he does. don't cause any trouble. We need to get going. Yeah, sure. We'll just stay here for a while. Get some rest. Don't worry. You made your point. We ain't gonna steal nothing. Hmm... Paragon points us to be a hypocrite. <laughs> sure. All right, all right. Looked up there already, I think. That was the apartment. Not the apartment. That was the apartment. This is the way. You don't listen to them, little avatar. I love your pink hair. It doesn't. Um, there's like a sh purpley sheen on it, but it's white and blue. I had a different character where the armor was bright pink, but that's not this character. <laughs> I, they're just being a troll. They're just being, they're just being trolly. No funny business once you're in the clinic, unless you want to deal with those mechs. Rearming. Morden's around here somewhere. Uh, go talk to him. We need all the help we can get. Didn't even Sorry, too power. busy to stop and chat. You should go find Morden. Morden saved my life. I owe him everything. This clinic is a sanctuary. If you're looking for trouble, go somewhere else. On our way here, we saw humans looting the apartments of the dead. It made me sick.
Professor, we're running low on Tapoxido. Use Melanarin. Plenty on hand. Almost as good. Causes cramping in vegetarian style. Supplement with Butemerol. Melanarin and Butemerol. Got it. Senazine is the catalyst. Bonds to genetic markers. Hard to find. Expensive to mass produce. Oh, I should have picked that up first. That's such a bummer. Huge bummer. Oh well. Must have just given me a free one when they upped my capacity. Alright, we've tired and looked at everything. Here we go. Professor Morden Solis. Hmm. Don't recognize you from area. Too well armed to be refugees, no mercenary uniform, quarantine still in effect. Here for something else. Fortune, crew to clean them out, unlikely. Fortune a symptom, not a cause. The plague. Investigating possible use as bioweapon. No. No, no. Too many guns. Not enough data, equipment, soldiers, art scientists. Yes, yes. High guns. Relax, Morton. I'm Commander Shepard, and I came here to find you. I'm on a critical mission, and I need your help. Mission? What mission? No, 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 no. Too busy. Clinic understaffed. Plague spreading too fast. Who sent you? Ever heard of an organization called Cerberus? Cross paths on occasion. Thought they only worked with humans. Why request Salarian aid? I'm on a mission to shut down the Collectors, and I need your help. Collectors? Interesting. Plague hitting these slums is engineered. Collectors want a few groups with technology to design it. Our goals may be similar. But must stop Plague first. Already have a cure. Need to distribute it at Environmental Control Center. Vorcha guarding it. Need to kill them. I'll get in and deal with the Vorcha. That sounded troubling. Vorcha have shut down Environmental Trying to kill everyone. Need to get power back on before district suffocates. Here, take plague cure. Also, bonus in good faith. Weapon from dead blue sun's marks may come in handy against Fortune. One more thing. Daniel, one of my assistants, went into Fortune territory looking for victims. Hasn't come back. If I see him, I'll do what I can to help. Thank you. Told him not to go. But he's smart. Bright future. I hope. Oh, my other character also had pink eyes. <laughs> I found a Terran plague victim near the entrance to the neighborhood. Can you send someone to help him? Hmm, risky. Blue Sun's Vorta still battling. District not secure. See what I can do. Have you had any trouble at the clinic? Nothing major. Blue Sun's gave her humans, made threats, killed them before things escalated. For a doctor, you're awfully calm about taking out a group of mercs. Wasn't always a doctor. Some work with Salarian Special Tasks Group. Can't handle myself. Advantage of being Salarian. Turians, Krogan, Vorcha, all obvious threats. Never see me coming. Never see me coming. Any idea where I can find Daniel? No. Heard infected Batarians trapped behind Vorcha lines. Daniel went to help. Warned him not to go. Too dangerous. Patients here need him. Snuck out anyway. Wanted to find him myself. Can't leave the clinic. Have to look after the patients. What do you know about the Vorcha? Cowardly, opportunistic scavengers. Not tactical or aggressive. Scale of attack unusual for them. Suspect Vorcha working for collectors. Distributing plague, collecting data. No proof, but theory fits evidence. What can you tell me about this plague? Hmm, <clears throat> advanced design. Suspected collectors before you mentioned them. Purpose seems experimental. Destroys respiratory systems with harmful genetic mutations. Makes sense to avoid humans. Unnecessary to force mutation on human genetic structure for sake of variance. Unnecessary mutations? What are you talking about? Possible goal of virus. Testing viable mutation levels in various species. Horrific, but feasible for collectors. Humans known to have diverse genetic background, wider range than other sapient races. Makes sense as control group. Let's head for the environmental plant. He says something about us being the control group for the... that when we're on to Chunka too. All right, we go. We level up too. Maybe we can get that squad disruptor ammo. 
So much Paragon. You know what? Is the um, missile launcher better for this mission? We don't even have that yet. Because because of the people on the balconies, you know? They're shooting missiles at you. Those people don't get hit by the arc reactor. And I don't have a sniper. Grenade launcher might not get up there either, so... You know. Wait, did I say something to him about the Batarian? I need to make sure I said something about the Batarian. Yes, Shepard. Okay. You need something. Uh, uh... I guess Let's I can't the environmental now. Yes, good. Restore power. I Release cure. We'll be yeah, here when you Yeah, you have to do return. it first. Ugh, sometimes you have to do it first, and sometimes you should wait, or else you won't get the opportunity. Ugh. Oh well. You leveled up! Why do you not have more points? You had two points before we leveled up. Hmm. Hmm. Displeased. Should I use this point? Let's wait and see if we die. Bunches of bunches of peepers. They come from This will put him down. <coughs> oh, I still my pistol. Oh! 
is not going to be good. Barring an impact shot! One left! I've lost shields! Engaging target! Pyro. Yes! It does! 
Trooper, you're a trooper. Let's explode you. And then that only God. Seems good. Oh wait, that was it? They're dead? Give me your opinion on whether I have time to finish. Yeah. I don't know. Before you are sad. Okay. I'm I want to finish the mission. I want to get all the way to the end. I wanted to do Garrus tonight too, but that's ridiculous. It's far, far too many things. Please. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Maybe we should cut off your fingers. That should loosen your... Look out! Don't move. One more step and kill your friend. I know you're scared of the Vorcha, of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. She's right. Doesn't make any sense. Are we really friends now? No. You have my word on it. Let him go. You got what you wanted, human. Are we free to go? We had a deal. Human nobility. I didn't know such a thing existed. Thank you. I thought they were gonna... gonna kill me. Did Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help right now. He's got too many patients and not enough volunteers. Yeah, okay. I'll go right away. Thanks again. I owe you... well... everything. Hostiles incoming! Thank you. 
sometimes miss. Miss the crazy biotics. Just, you know, shoot their shields off and then singularity their ass into the air. Or their armor, whatever. Shields are armor, whatever. the end of this nonsense. I can give you your sniper. Yes. Good. Alright, I'm gonna have to get closer to even tell you to target them. Here goes. Three o'clock. Grenades can reach up there. Calm down. Somebody want to hang out by this explosive container? That'd be great. Engaging target. Lock and load. The next thing was just the room with the fans on either side. Forgetting this other stuff. Heal so fast. On it. I'm on it. Damn it. My shields are down. Shot. Yeah. Ah. I found 
limited. Heavy weapon. Head down. Sit down. Not a problem. Lock it. Where are my peeps? I mean, I guess them being up there is terrible. I don't want them to die. Charging, I will not win. Unless he's like very low, but he was not. No better than to get in a charging standoff between me and a Krogan with armor this early in the game. We did it! Hey! Oh, I didn't even realize you were enemies! <laughs> Attention a little bit. Okay, now is the only thing left the room with the fans? Cle surely, surely that's all that's left. Right? It's gotta be. The environmental controls should be nearby. We need to insert the key, then reactivate the fans. What do you think, Puddin? Ah, you don't come here! We shut down machines! Break fans! Everyone choke and die! Then collectors make us strong! What do the collectors want? <sighs> collectors want plague! You work for doctor! Turn on machines! Put cure in air! We kill you first! Ah! Seems to know our plans. 
Seems seems to know our plans real well. Blood pack boom squad. You know what a boom squad is? <laughs> Okie dokies. Engaging target. I remember being on it. Rough. Is he? He's on fire! Shouldn't he blow up? There we go. Well, she probably should have hurt me more than it did. I'm on it. Did he die? I cannot tell. He did not die. Shepard, I've scanned the room. The central control system is in an alcove. Oh, we did the first wave. Can inject the cure and reinitialize the systems there. Puppy, look at us. Look at us surviving a wave. Perhaps the easiest wave. With absolutely no broken that I Cure can is in place. see. Now we need to reactivate the fans. Okay. <clears throat> I've got it. Sit down. I have located the fan controls. There are two. One on either side of the room. You're in. Okay, how are we gonna get those guys? Wouldn't it be great if they let me charge up there and just like throw people off the edge? Firing concussive! Nice. Sometimes they'll let me target them and then sometimes they won't. Did a little something, something. There we go. Okay. Round for ammo. That was wave number two of like four. Is 
side are they coming from? Where the hell is Zaid? I mean, they're all here. What was that explosion I was hearing? Super useful. I got it. Cute. Alien Thunder. Ooh, a pyro. Goodbye. Alright, pyro. This will put him down. Three pyros? Where's the Krogan? I thought there was a Krogan. <gasps> Only three pyros? And some other buddies. Maybe the Krogan's come out once we've activated the fan. So that was wave number three. Got some more ammo. It's very nice. This fan is powering back up. We still need to activate the other one. Yes, here's way of four. Sorry. Miranda, will you come back here, please? Oh, thank you. That would be great. With you. Escaping from fandom. Yeah. Oh, the fire! Setting fire to everything. Yeah. We'll all feel the pain of fire. So great. Not even incinerate. That awesome. All right, I hear. I thought I heard a Krogan voice. Dude, how did Zaid get way over there? What are you doing, buddy? How how did that even happen? Shut down. Who's back there? Some, one of my people is stuck. You, what, what are you doing? Come with me. Please come with me. She's gotten frozen twice now. Oh, hello. Please help me, Miranda. Miranda. 
if I could change my weapon quickly enough. <laughs> I could have changed my she's stuck she's frozen so she's basically dead this happened on the first mission we did first side mission she just fucking got stuck in a wall why did you not explode? I should explode you come on Ferocious are we. Miranda would be so helpful if she would not get frozen into walls. Hello. them, at least not in wave four. Both fans are online. Morden should be pleased. Oh no, there was a med. I didn't get the med. Good call. Environment High five, I've never engaged. done it that Airborne way. Airborne viral levels dropping, patients improving, Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. And thank you for me as well. Those Batarians would have killed me. For a second there, I thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients, sometimes execute dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Good kid, a bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic. Should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the Collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. Uh, we picked up everything we could here, so... We're heading out. Leap. See you on the Normandy. Starship, huh? Is there another starship? 
Welcome to the Normandy, Professor. You. It's an honor to have okay. you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? Not so human-centric. You're very well informed. Solarian government well-connected espionage experts had top-level clearance once, retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only, no knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. But this mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. No distress signals are sent out. There are no signs of any kind of attack. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. Effects not simultaneous. You don't have to sit there and guess. We collected samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. We're going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. <gasps> Have to ask. Is that an AI? The ship is equipped with an artificial intelligence. An AI on board? Non-human crew members? Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The Collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we have to do to find and stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify, neutralize technology, need samples. Which way to the lab? Follow me, Professor. Ooh, so many yummy things. How did I get Inferno armor? What is that? Is that a prize? Oh, well, maybe you just unlock that prize by getting the lab to open up. Let's say hi. Shepard, how can I help? Have you got a minute to talk? Of course. Plague on Omega dealt with. Plenty of time to analyze collector intelligence. Impressive laboratory setup. Missed working for operations with a budget. AI in particular. Very helpful. Best setup I've oh. seen since work with Special Tasks Group. Is your assistant Daniel settling in all right? Quite well. Safe and secure. Neighborhood mostly quiet with plague gone. Left him the security mechs just in case. Can't be too careful. Also tired of mechs. Noisy. Never used them in STG. But I want to ask about this. I want to ask about special tasks. And if I ask the thing on the right, it usually closes off the things on the left, doesn't it? Oh, I've gotten in trouble with this. With you said you were in the uh. special tasks group. What kind of research were you doing? Not simply research. Several recon missions. Covert, high risk. Served under young captain named Kirihi. Studied Krogan genophage, took water, tissue samples from Krogan colonies. We I know worked him. with an STG captain named Kirihi. His team helped me destroy Saren's cloning facility on Burmire. <gasps> Heard he was part of that. Jury rigged explosive. <laughs> Always got job done with limited resources. Good captain. Bit of a cloaker, though. Loved his speeches. Hold the line. Personally prefer to get job done and go home. Probably military bravado, jargon, chest pounding. Uh, no offense. Yay! Why would STG study the genophage? Krogan rebellion's bloody, dangerous, nearly as bad as rachni attacks. All species evolve, adapt, mutate. If genophage weakens, need to be prepared. What was the STG preparing to do? Military schematics for likely Krogan population growth, political scenarios for attack points. Genophage reduced Krogan numbers. Species aggression unchecked. Population explosion would be disastrous. STG helped check Krogan rebellions. Needed to be ready to do the same. Simple recon. Nothing to worry about. What can you tell me about the genophage? 
Bioweapon designed by Salarian science team. Deployed by Turians against Krogans to end Krogan rebellions more than a thousand years ago. Affects every cell of Krogan body. Commonly and incorrectly considered a sterility plague. Actually adjusts viable fertility rates to compensate for a high Krogan birth rate. Stabilizes to pre-industrial population growth levels. Hmm. Nice well, talking with you, Morden. I should get back to work. Guess we don't need get to ask those other so questions. Data. Here, if you need me. Let's see. Shepard, see if they'll let how us can know. I help? Have no. you got a minute to talk? Later, better. Anything else? Any ideas on other ways to prepare for the collectors? Ideas, yes. Expensive, but possibly valuable. Can show you. Let me know if upgrades seem feasible. Can install them whenever you like. Is the lab working well for you? Quite satisfactory. Found a few surveillance bugs. Destroyed most of them. Returned expensive one to Miranda. Nothing unexpected. Just need more samples. More collector data, tissue samples, anything you can get, I can use. Very Five considerate. New tech. Are there any medical concerns I should be aware of on the team? Cerberus personnel in excellent condition. No squad concerns to report. Always some matters, but nothing affecting immediate mission. I'll let you work. We'll be here if you need me. Yeah. Missed out. Missed out, I think, on some of those. Alright. Leave this for next time. I should go. Shepard out.